the next thing that you need to do is mark where the thermostat is going to go on the lid so you don't want to put it in the center there because that's where the light bulb is going to be and then come in the way and interfere with it so place it somewhere here towards the bottom corner uh, I'm going to put it in line with this glass just so it looks neat and in the center of this sort of panel and then just get a pencil and draw around around the base and then once you've marked that you can cut it when you're actually cutting the uh, the hole for the thermostat cut inside the line that way there's room for error so if you've drawn the box a little bit too big you can uh, you'll get away with it you don't want to cut the hole too big so it lets loads of uh, once okay. you've cut the hole um, just check that it fits properly and if it doesn't then make some adjustments cut a few slices off and once it fits in nice and comfortably you need to make some new holes now there's going to be one tiny hole here just for this wire to fall through and go into the incubator and there'll be another two holes here the pins to fit in and the cables which are going to attach to those pins so use your pencil once again mark those holes and then cut. once you've cut the wedges this is what it should look like um, just a tiny little one here for the, for the wire very small and then two sort of rough rectangular wedges there they don't need to be exact um, they just need to be there so the copper and um, couple pieces will just slip through and then the next thing you need to do is uh, take the thermostat and bend the cable downwards and then you're gonna pop it in bend the cable downwards so that it'll fit into the actual slot that you've made for it and then just drop okay, it once in that's in it should look like this nice and tidy sitting flat against the lid there'll be a couple of little holes here from the cuts that you made um, if you if you if they bother you you can actually fill them up using bits of um, polystyrene that are left over just fill them up and put some glue in there if you want so in the bottom side the hole is slightly bigger so you can actually cover that up with a piece of foil if you want um, but don't do that yet. Firstly, you're going to attach the cables to the thermostat 